Today I got the opportunity to meet a remarkable all-girls robotics team from Afghanistan who hope to one day help their country's economy with their robot. This robot is about agriculture. Uh, the cutters from the inside, they cut uh, the weight from the ground. And these two parts, uh, these are torn and the weight uh, turns inside and it comes inside the robot. They call themselves the Afghan Dreamers. They traveled halfway around the world to show the RoboRave community the machine that they hope will someday help their economy. 82% of uh, the people of Afghanistan uh, are uh, busy for the farmers and we built this robot to help the farmer in Afghanistan. The machine is called the Hirava. It's a tractor that harvests, processes, moves, packs and plants crops. It only took these girls two weeks to build but they faced a lot of challenges to get to Albuquerque to show it off. Twice we don't, didn't get the visa, and the third time we get the visa, we faced a lot of challenges, uh, like um, we didn't have material to build our robot, we didn't have enough time, just we have two weeks to build our robot. The founders of the Afghani robotics team created the group to give girls in Afghanistan the opportunity to learn more about STEM. I think that the science and technology and engineering is give the girls that uh, confidence and as well it's uh, increase their ability for their future, especially when you're at young age, you are working in complex works. Right now we have a huge gap between women's in science and technology and engineering. So the best things and best, best tools is to give them at a young age. And although these girls are young, these girls are already planning to help build a STEM school in Afghanistan for other dreamers in their community.